Did you know that there is another world beyond this world? If not, let us listen to the story of Earth, the smartest planet. Once upon a time, in a big universe, Earth, along with his seven brothers and father's son, lived in a big city called the Solar System. Earth was the third brother and the smartest amongst the eight. He was lively, energetic and loved travelling. He always wished to visit his brothers, so he would insist on travelling around the universe. Earth, being the sun's favourite son, was granted the permission to travel around the universe, but only for a day. Excited, Earth quickly called his uncle Moon. Uncle Moon! Uncle Moon, are you there? Yes, Earth. I was taking a nap. What is it? Moon, let me travel around the universe. How long will it take to visit you? Earth, though I am the nearest to you, you will at least take six days to see me. The distance between us is same distance as ten times around the Earth. Unfortunately, I only have one day to travel around the universe. Uncle Moon, I will visit you next time then. For now, I will visit the star Proxima Centauri. I hope she is not too far. Earth, it's not the star Proxima Centauri that you see, but then the light emitted by it. The light takes at least four years to reach near you. She is farther than the distance between us. You will take a thousand years to reach there. If that's the case, I will change my plan to Mars. I hope he will respond to my call. See you later, Uncle Moon. Hello, this is Mars speaking. Mars, it's me, Earth. I want to visit you today as you are the nearest to me apart from Venus. But I only have one day. Will I make it? Oh dear, one day is not enough for you to be here. The last time I visited you, it took me at least 150 days, so you might take more than that, as it is your first visit. That's not pleasant news. I thought of traveling around the universe in one day, but it seems difficult. I also promised Neptune that I would visit him. Do you know the shortest route to him, as I even connect with him through telephone? Our big brother Neptune is the farthest from all of us here. You will at least take about 18 years to reach there, so I am afraid a day is not enough for you to visit any of us here. I need to go back and invent space shuttles to travel the longest distance in a shorter duration unlike today. I hope I can come back to see you next time. Successfully, a year later, Earth travelled to the moon through his newly invented space shuttle. Earth kept learning out of curiosity and interest about new things which made him the smartest amongst all the planets. If you keep learning, then you too can discover new things which will help us travel through space and time faster and more efficiently. Won't that be exciting? <laughs>